now coming to a next next thing which is sql injection so i will not go in sql injection in deep because it's very big bug right and and there are okay so but i'll explain some part of sql injection so what is sql injection anyone very hard to find nowadays see whenever there is any database connectivity right suppose this is your web application and this is your server right you need to understand the concept. bypassing any login page yeah bypassing with the use login. of with the use of pa uh, with the use use of sql okay so suppose if we do not have any login page so can we and for sql injection or can we execute sql injection if we do not have any login page uh no okay, i don't like, know exactly what it is okay no no, no i worry. just have the basic idea yeah okay so that's why i am here just to tell about logic right you can see different youtube videos and anywhere you can see different different things right but what's the logic here so why why access uh, sorry why sql injection is going to happen where very first we need to check any website if there is any kind of connectivity with the database right database right in some website there there is only some one static page right only html static page there is no back end connection right database connection but more in most of the website nowadays there are login page there are command area there are product area right product cart everything right cart product right so you need to check any area where where there is any what connectivity to database so login page yeah one thing login page why because there we provide username and password then it will go to database data will database will check if it is correct or not then accordingly it will provide grant access or or it will just provide some kind of error and in the cart area if we want to see some kind of you know you can say course or books so carts also connect to database suppose there are 10 items are in database right so we are able to see those items which is id equal to 1 have you seen this kind of parameter id equal to 3 4 24 right cart in product also there are different product right 1 2 3 4 there are four product each product is connected to a certain database right means there is only one database but yeah it is connected to database if we want to check for a product a we click here and database will provide each and every details of this particular product right id equal to 1 even in photograph also right photos also stored in some kind some places in the database right so when you click here it will get from the database right id equal to 1 2 3 something like that so for sql injection first thing is you need to check if there is any kind of database connectivity database connectivity can be through login area sign up area right we are inserting uh, some kind of input username password we are taking username or password right and then cart product and then can be comment area post area anywhere right because we are going to store data in the database connectivity now second thing is if website is not checking user input right why for example let's say this is let me clear this for example this is any one of you aware about sql language language How many of you are aware about SQL? A little bit, a little bit. Okay, so you might explain this in more clear way. For example, suppose we have provided here my email name is Aman and my password is Aman. One two three, right? So, and then we I click OK to get access in my account, right? So you can understand when I. fill these values so there must be some kind of uh, sql command which which is going to execute right? something like uh, select from table user where where the user id aman and password is aman123 are you getting me select from right select from 
table lemon right something like that not select from table user right name of the table is user where user id is where where clause where user id equal to aman right and password equal to aman one two three right something such kind of you can say sql command which will going to execute at backend if in the database if we have such kind of stored value stored information then database will reflect all the you know account details to you know web website right so how many are you aware about such kind of command sql command select the user select table and all yeah because to understand sql injector you need to understand you at least you have some basics understanding of such command sql command so something like such kind of uh, you can say command is going to execute at the back end yeah select star from table one yeah it will reflect everything from table one if we select star means everything right select everything from table one so these are the sql command so here such command is executed now as a attacker as an hacker as an attacker what we can do we can modify this particular sql command right we can modify we can modify uh, select everything from table right select star from user select the star from uh, uh, user or so everything right? we can if we have understanding of sql command we can modify everything right so that everything will reflect here right if we select everything select star select star from table user right from table user so it will give us everything here right it will show everything so how so in sql injection we need to modify data select star from table and where name equal to yeah correct so what we need to do here yeah so oh uh, yeah so suppose in login field right or otherwise what we can do this is one way otherwise we can do for example uh one equal to one right so when this command will execute right at the back end when database is going to check aman and if password is aman one two three right that means this condition is true database uh, database has found this particular thing in the in the table that means this condition is true right this condition is true that means this is real username and password and then database database will reflect everything here right so what we can do that someone just uh, told earlier one equal to one right so we need to create true condition true condition can be one equal to one and right zero equal to zero something like that while we are putting this thing before it's again depending upon the executing method of uh, this particular system right so we need to understand the database level thing but i'll exp i'll show some kind of easy things here so this thing will break each and every command before that right delimiter we call it delimiter then this thing then you can write uh, as per the you know sometimes it will work sometimes oh, equal to one equal to one or something like that right you need to check everything so that means condition become true so everything you will get access to admin area because condition is true so that's one way to exploit the uh, sql vulnerability it is, it is quite big and it's very difficult to understand within one day you uh, suggest I, i'll give one suggestion suggestion here do not go for sql injection in the beginning try to find out low hanging fruits if the database is not sql will inject work if database is not sql means this database either they are using uh, ms sql or some or one more right php i don't remember my sql yeah you can use now coming to practical part so uh, for example let's open kali now Are you excited this is my kali machine here so how we can find hunt for is just for you know understanding just for learning how we can find this kind of thing sql injection so for that
yeah i'll explain everything all things are low level except access and this thing now let's check for i have one google doc here see this is google doc right to find the books and you can see this particular website right yeah you can use you have to use virtual box for kali yeah you can use vm virtual anything so here you can see this is one website right and you can see book id equal to 12 that means it is having some kind of connection at the back end database so we will try to execute here sql injection right so let's see or else i have one more uh, you can say talk google doc to find sql injection this is another google doc right so like you can see this thing electro partner see id equal to one right that means we can also uh, attack this particular thing this is also connected to database this is old website because it's very hard to find out sql injection nowadays directly right so yeah id equal to one now we'll try to exploit any one of them now yeah this is more interesting one so just copy this thing and go to virtual box or virtual machine kali kali okay now open your terminal i assume you all aware about how to use kali in virtual machine so just very first when you start your attack just very first check if your network is working or not so ping google oh, sorry ping google.com okay so here can, here you can see we are getting response that means our connection is established our network is working right now what you can do just go to sql in sql map right how many of you are aware about sql map How many of you are aware about SQL map? Say yes or no. Not aware. It's very powerful tool, right? For finding SQL injection. Just copy that thing and copy URL. You need to find URL which having some kind of such kind of parameter, book ID equal to this thing or ID equal to this thing, something like that. Then you can try now paste, right? And minus minus dbs what is dbs dbs just to find out the database now it's getting started yes 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 just for understanding you can use this particular tool but again if you want to understand this in more professional way you need to use your actual knowledge of sql command and everything you need to learn sql and all and i'll suggest not to go for such kind of bugs if you're already into the you know development side back-end development you can also go for such bugs but i need you need to understand learn such bugs it is getting executed it is taking time sometimes it will take time sometimes it will execute very fast I'll just wait. Yes. Yes.
it is not automation right but for demonstration i am using this particular tool you can use this particular tool to find out sql injection but nowadays because every website is using web filter and everything so such kind of tool will not work you need to use your knowledge and knowledge will come when you learn and understand sql and all and to be honest um, i haven't spent much time in such kind of bugs because i know it is very hard to find that's why yes see you are getting some kind of infancy database name you can see such kind of this is the name of database right this is information schema so what we can do we can try to go deep into this so just this thing and minus d then k type the database name k d y r s x n i underscore d b one right and minus minus after database what you can do minus minus um, what was the thing yeah minus tables yeah you need to search for tables now are you able to execute command here what do you get parameter book id okay connection has been stopped in the middle backend dbs in my sql again try to d4 database right so in such a way it will take some time so we'll try to complete this thing in at end right it's because it is automation so where you can try very first you just need to try yeah this is very good website yeah this thing as php dot vulnerable right just copy this thing and we'll proceed further because we have only half an hour left so close this thing where is Kali? Okay, so clear this thing. Just SQL map minus u, then paste minus minus DBS. It will execute attack and it will find everything. Right. Now it's executing at the back end. Uh, now reporting component. I need to tell you reporting component, right? How many of you are interested for reporting part? Okay. Reporting is very important, right? So for that, I have some report. Yeah, it will execute in the back end see you can see retrieved to retrieve database so it will execute and it will give you some database name and we can go further in deep so before that i'll show you my reporting so like you can see one second yeah this thing so i just created a report so i'll share this thing to you so just remove logo or something just what you can do just if you are reporting outside from bug crowd so just in the word area in document you can write simple name of your target and just summary like if you want you can give summary but if you don't like you no i am not okay so you can just give executive summary it is high level report but just i am showing just for your awareness so in this uh, uh, in this particular assessment i just found 
कैन यू सेंड मी दिस आई आई सेंड एवरीथिंग थ्री मीडियम एंड नाइन इन्फॉर्मेटिव राइट टोटल दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट थ्री मीडियम एंड नाइन दीज आर दिन वर्नेबिलिटी सो वर्नेबिलिटी रिपोर्ट जस्ट टाइप वर्नेबिलिटी रिपोर्ट एंड जस्ट टाइप द नेम ऑफ द वर्नेबिलिटी राइट पासवर्ड रीसेट टोकन नॉट एक्सपायर आफ्टर यूज सो जस्ट गिव डिस्क्रिप्शन हाउ यू विल फाइंड डिस्क्रिप्शन जस्ट गूगल इट राइट google it you will get some kind of old bug uh, hacker one report or something like that just google it you will find description now coming to details in details just what you can do just provide poc poc means anyone proof of concept right so in proof of concept what you need to do just provide steps right first you need to create your account second you need to do this thing third you need to go to that panel right fourth you need to log out five you need to execute this attack just write your step 1 2 3 5 and after writing your step provide references right the references are these are the hacker one report right which uh, always try to give reference of those reports in which uh, the submitter got some kind of good amount of bounty right yeah we must also add some screenshot correct you need to add screenshot also if you have a screenshot and um, uh, what i usually do i do not attach a screenshot i attach video right so video is very best if you are doing some kind of thing you just need to create video so these are the reference then item affected so here you can see login area right and this this was the url affected item was the url right affected parameter not required and then suggestion suggestion you can provide your suggestion what you need to do suggestions suggestions also you can go over you know google and find out the suggestion like these are the reports so whenever you are looking for any report for reference there you will find suggestions also so just copy and rewrite in your words right so a reset link can only be used once and this thing da 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 then this is second part right no session log off on email change right failure to invalidate a session on email change so this is this is not something critical just informative bug but if you found something just include all the things in single report so that they might think yeah this person has done something amazing so that means yeah this is good he is doing very good so uh, it's very good to provide some kind of bounty alwit uh, can you share this yeah i'll share everything so document right this is one report format now coming to second one this is normal report right just write target name type vulnerability name type simple uh, name of the description of the vulnerability right now if you are interested just write vulnerable point right login and sign up impact you can write impact right risk it is not required but i am from risk side risk manager side so i just wrote this part of thing but it is not required then you can write some reference of some kind of blogs where they can go and understand what's all about the bug right no rate limit which we have learned uh, yesterday so just a small description and impact and rating and the steps the steps you need to provide right and sensitive data disclosure which we have not covered something yeah so this is how you can yeah step to reproduce right you need to provide a step to reproduce so just write all the steps here this is the report right you can create your own report 